Hi everyone, this is Chai McDermott and Beck Anderson with your Brother Rice Standard Newscast. On Friday, March 20th, Brother Rice held its second and annual parent-teacher conference of the year. Faculty met with parents to discuss their son's grades and what the students will be doing throughout the last quarter of the school year. Teachers also told parents what their sons would have to do in order to achieve the highest grade possible in their particular course. Brother Rice recently hosted a career day for the students. Many alumni came back to Brother Rice to talk to the students about their jobs. They encouraged the students to follow what they like and answered questions about their career. It was a great turnout and the students learned a lot about choosing a job in the future. On March 17th, Brother Rice held their annual St. Patrick's Day Mass. Brother Rice gathered to celebrate the life and ministry of St. Patrick, Blessed Edwin Rice, and the Christian Brothers. The Irish Music Club made a special appearance with students Tom DeMoss and Will Thompson playing the bagpipes. Student TJ Sass spoke to Will about the experience. A lot of preparation goes into playing the bagpipes. I practice uh, usually every day um, before I go, go to sleep, either on the chair or on the actual bagpipes. It's taken about a year to get everything together. Over spring break, the lacrosse team headed down to New Orleans to face the top teams of Louisiana. While in New Orleans, the team was able to get a feel for the culture of the city and what it meant to be part of the South. On the field, the Crusaders faced number nine ranked Brother Martin, number two ranked St. Paul, and number one ranked Jesuit. The Varsity Crusaders left Louisiana one and two, while the JV team fought hard but came up short without winning a game. The trip showed the team how other states play lacrosse, and the Crusaders are excited to get back to the regular season. On March 13th and 14th, the Brother Rice Drama Club featured its presentation of the 1980s classic film, The Breakfast Club, which has been in the works since November, turned out to be a big hit with the local community. Notable Rice actors included Mitch DeVillo, who played the athletic Andrew Clark, and Rob Abram in the role of the punk kid named John Bender. Standard Newscast reporter Jacob Munoz discussed the performance with Drama Club moderator, Mr. Rollins. We were looking for a play that would be appealing, but not have a very large cast. The play was put on in the cafeteria, setting up the light, setting up the sound. That was probably the biggest challenge of it all. I really enjoyed the, uh, the comic aspect of it, but also the social uh, commentary. This is also the first play that I directed on my own. Uh, working with these kids was great. I'll never forget any one of them. Owen Falk, local Windy City Team Snowcross racer and Brother Rice Crusader, had a busy winter on the sled. Standard newscast reporter Charlie McDermott interviewed Owen about his hobby. Hi, Charlie McDermott here sitting with Owen Falk here. Uh, Owen Falk is a snowcross racer. Um, tell us, what is snowcross? Uh, it's basically like motocross on a snowmobile. You take a snowmobile across a bunch of rough terrain, just okay. giant jumps, just anything you could possibly think of. Okay. How did now, how'd you get into that? Um, I always rode snowmobiles for a couple of years, like before I started racing, and then I went to a race in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Thought it was cool, wanted to get into it, and started eighth grade year, and I've been doing it ever since. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, what would you say is your best experience snowcrossing? Um, the most fun I've had was probably being the first to hit the triple at Lake Geneva, the 110 foot triple at Lake Geneva Saturday morning during practice. Okay, wow. Uh, what was your scariest experience snow crossing? Um, it has to be my first year at Lake Geneva. I haven't been scared ever since because it's turned normal mm -hmm. for me, but looking up the giant double black diamond hill, thinking Absolutely. I'm going to go up that and jump straight down was scariest thing Absolutely. ever. Absolutely. And uh, what are your future plans for this? I'm definitely going to try to make it into pro, hopefully by the end of next year. Going to get picked up by a team, hopefully, but definitely going to move on to college and everything because it doesn't last forever. I gotcha. Yeah, well, that's an awesome plan. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks for sitting down with us. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. On March 16th, Kendrick Lamar released his new album, To Pimp a Butterfly. The album is a follow-up to Lamar's multi-Grammy award-nominated major label debut, Good Kid, Mad City. The new album had influences of jazz, funk, and spoken word. To Pimp a Butterfly is a celebration of taking bold risks to wake up each morning to try to be better, knowing that any day could be your last. Thanks for watching this week's Standard Newscast, and don't forget to subscribe to our Brother Rice Chicago channel.